How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm bringing you another ladder PvP experience. Now essentially the other day I challenged a player by the name of Ghost who uh, was above me on the Xbox ladder on the Discord server. Now I've included a link to the Discord server below in the description if the Dark Souls 3 PvP um, is something you're interested in then check it out. But otherwise Ghost is a great player. He came at me with uh, straight sword and black knight shield with a uh, switch out to a parrying shield and also a washing pole in one of those matches as well which made for a very interesting and challenging uh, fight overall. Now I ended up taking the fight 3-1 to take his spot on the ladder but it was a very challenging um, and entertaining fight for me. Um, I thought that Ghost is uh, quite a good player there and he did catch me in one of those matches as well which is pretty damn cool so I thought I'd share that with you here today. Now just before I do, uh, there are a couple of changes to the Dark Mace and Partisan build that I like using lately. Essentially I've moved um, one point away from Vigor, uh, oh, sorry, one point uh, yeah, away from Vigor essentially, so Vigor's back to 44. So in the last um, ladder PvP match I put my Vigor up to 45 and my Strength to 26, uh, but having Vigor at 45 isn't actually a good break point, it's either 44 or 46. So I decided to stick to 44 essentially and just put that point back into strength there at 27. So our Dark Mace is getting 553 AR two-handed. Now on top of that, um, I've actually replaced the Partisan for a Dark four-pronged plow plus 10. Obviously because the plow is the superior choice in terms of spear uh, or spears because of its range. Um, so it really has helped this build quite a lot, replacing the Partisan over to the plow. Even though aesthetically I prefer the uh, Partisan's look. So shout out to Crispy from the Discord for dropping the plow for me. Thank you man, this uh, plow has really helped out the build. But other than that, everything else here remains the same. Same armor, same ring setup. And obviously here I swapped out the Sacred Charm of Filianor for a regular Cestus, just keeping the Ethereal Oak Shield as our only uh, HP regen item in our active inventory. So that's about it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this fight. It was a lot of fun and stay tuned for the next episode. Enjoy. Alrighty guys, so first round of our match, I open up here with the Dark Mace against his Straight Sword and Black Knight Shield combo. Now as per usual, my strat going in here was to force Hyper Armor trades with our Armor Poise um, against his Straight Sword setup and also to create pressure um, on that shield with our Dark Infusion. Now um, I will say that because my opponent here is from Brazil and I'm from Australia, uh, we did have uh, quite a bit of latency in this match. Now not noticeable to the point where my opponent was sliding across the map or anything, but uh, there was enough latency for me to misjudge the range of his attacks at certain points. Um, so I was getting hit um, when I thought that I was out of range on my screen. But that's Dark Souls 3 for you to be honest, um, and you really have to adapt to that latency and it's only really bad. Um, when your opponent is actually sliding across the map. So I adapted to it and kept fighting, but you will see me make some mistakes here because I thought I was just out of range. Now my opponent here has switched out to a parry shield, um, but luckily he didn't manage to get off any parries at all during our fight, as I like to keep that I don't play that obviously. Now again I went for a hyper armor trade there with the mace, which is what we're aiming for. And basically that's what this match boils down to, so a lot of uh, spacing. And as you can see there, my opponent went for a parry, so he just missed that, which was good for us. And you will see me here use a Perseverance running attack uh, quite shortly um, in order to get in another hit. Now additionally, um, I do switch out to the uh, four prong plow and crossbow to finish my opponent off. You will notice that uh, I was actually using lightning bolts instead of my usual explosive bolts and that was a mistake on my part because just prior to our fight here, um, I was actually farming for dark gems and as you know those herald knights are actually weak to lightning so I forgot to switch it up and I continued using lightning bolts for this fight, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, so um, I broke his tears there with the mace, but didn't have enough stamina to finish him off, so I finish him off here using the crossbow. Alrighty guys, so round two of our match. Again, my opponent here, Ghost, opens with straight sword and parrying shield, and me with the dark mace. But now he's gone for a lightning blade buff, uh, which is a smart idea to get a bit more damage on us. And again, my strategy here remained the same, go for hyper armor trades with the mace, as we are poised off my fourth stagger there to get in our two hit combo. Now 
Now my opponent there goes for a parry and gets punished there. But he does hit me back there a couple of times as I didn't have enough time to roll away. Now I'll use I use perseverance here to psych out my opponent a bit. Obviously I like going for those perseverance running attacks, but not all the time. Uh, just to be a little bit less obvious and predictable. But here I muck up my uh, range with my mace quite severely and goes to punish me accordingly. Obviously he's a great player, so he's going to capitalize on that mistake on my part. Now a little bit of reactive play here guys, and that's basically what high level PvP boils down to. Uh, it's really about scoping your opponent out and using the most effective attack, so you're going to look for opportunities to hit your opponent. Neither of us were rushing here, um, and instead we were just looking for opportunities to outplay each other. Now here you'll notice me get hit when on my screen it looked like I was out of range, and that was the latency. Um, and again here when Ghost uses the uh, weapon art of his straight sword, I thought I was out of range and obviously it hit me. Um, luckily I got in another high armor trade there at the end, so we do have a health advantage currently. But because I kept misjudging that range, um, it's thrown me off a little bit. And here again with that running attack, I thought I was out of range, but due to latency I got hit again. So this has actually caused me to uh, get thrown off a little bit now in the match, and you'll see me go a lot more passive now than I should have been. Uh, and that's what cost me this round, guys. So, um, in my opinion, I thought I should have maintained that aggression, but obviously the uh, latency and misjudge of the range of his sword due to that latency threw me off here, and I went into passive mode, and Ghost punished me accordingly. Away, but I got punished instead. GG. Alrighty guys, so round three of our match, uh, both of us open with the same setup, and uh, my opponent here I think uses a lightning resin instead um, for this match when we open. Now you'll notice Ghost actually plays a lot more aggressively here, and I think that was a mistake on his part because it, I would managed to capitalize on that aggression by forcing Hyper Armor trade and also punishing him when he was going for those parries. So um, obviously we're armor poise optimized um, and we can tank through that straight sword fairly quickly without even having perseverance. So that was uh, what I was aiming for here. And we actually got off quite a lot of trades here due to um, Ghost's hyper aggressiveness. Now you'll also notice me uh, roll quite a bit more here guys, obviously because I was anticipating the latency. So I was rolling a lot more in this match um, and adapting to the fact that I would probably get hit when I was out of range or when he was out of range on my screen. Um, and now towards the end of the match I switch out to the 4 uh, front plow and the crossbow to finish him off. Obviously wishing that I had switched out to those explosive bolts but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, the 4 prong plow is actually excellent at finishing your opponent off. And in hindsight I probably should have been far more aggressive using it here to create pressure. Uh, but again, due to, I think it was due to the latency and stuff like that, uh, I wasn't playing as aggressively as I should have. I'm um, obviously, um, you know, fearing that I would get hit uh, when in my screen it wasn't in range. But uh, I kept this set up towards the end here, uh, going for pokes when I saw an opportunity and also shooting him. So he had a lot of pressure to deal with here. Uh, the range of the pokes on the spear and also the crossbow, but he does manage to punish me accordingly. And he gets off some sweet rolls there to dodge my... Um, plow there. So uh, again, Ghost, great player, dodges accordingly and manages to create pressure himself against me, knowing that he was one hit away from death. So great match. I switch out to the uh, Aetheral Oak Shield here now, obviously because uh, you know, I wanted a bit of HP regen, um, and I was waiting for an opportunity to finish him off here with the plow, which I get in a minute. And there we go. GG. Alrighty guys, so last round of our match, I was winning 2-1 at this point, so I needed to win this round to uh, finish this match. Um, and my opponent here switches out to a washing pole. I actually thought I was done for, to be honest. Um, the latency coupled with the range of the washing pole, um, it was quite a difficult match. 
Uh, but luckily, I've fought so many katanas and so many washing poles that I'm quite good at dodging the running attack and also um, forcing hyper armor trades uh, you know, when the running attack actually comes to me. So you'll see me here punishing my opponent quite a lot here with hyper armor trades. And um, I've also managed to actually intercept a few of his running attacks uh, with hyper armor trades using the mace and also dodging them accordingly. As you can see there, hyper armor trade, uh, you know, leading the running attack with our mace because we're poised optimized to get in our two new combo. I misjudged there and twice, unfortunately, um, as my opponent was using uh, lightning resonance as well. I uh, was getting quite more damage um, in, in this match. And on top of that, he managed to actually dodge my hyper armor trade in that last exchange, which was great. Now, um, man, I was shit scared in this fight, I ain't gonna lie. The washing pole is an excellent weapon um, in this sort of arena because it's so small. And when you have latency on your side as well, um, it makes for quite a frightening experience. But luckily, um, I kept my wits about me um, and dodge rolled accordingly, forced trades at every opportunity I got. And you'll also notice that I play quite patiently now against the washing pole, uh, only attacking when I had the opportunity, which is key in my opinion. Bit of a mix up there by Ghosts, excellent little mix up, threw me off and he managed to punish me with the uh, straight sword uh, before he switches out again to that washing pole. Fearsome stuff. Bit of uh, perseverance uh, psyching out there. But again, those washing pole running attacks are absolutely devastating. And I had two choices here, uh, basically force trades at that running attack or just play very patiently and look for opportunities to get uh, one or two hits in, which is exactly what I did. So at this point I was just uh, playing very patiently and looking for opportunities to counter attack like that. And again, counter attack. Just break his tears, now I switch out to the plow obviously to finish him off uh, with the crossbow. So crossbow and plow, excellent uh, combination there to finish your opponent off. It can create quite a lot of pressure as your opponent has two things to deal with. The range and pokes of the plow and also the uh, bolts of your crossbow. So now it was a matter of time. It was just me looking for an opportunity to finish my opponent off with two of my weapons. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys, if you did hit that like button, if you're enjoying my content please subscribe and stay tuned for the next Poise Showcase. Until next time guys.